Can you imagine a ruler from the 11th century whose empire stretched from the river Ganges in India to the river Irrawaddy in Burma? This was the realm of Rajendra Chola I, a monarch whose name resonates with power and expansion. Born into the illustrious Chola dynasty, a lineage steeped in valor and ambition, his life was destined to be extraordinary from the start. His early years were spent in the royal court, absorbing the intricacies of rulership, diplomacy and warfare. The seeds of greatness were sown in these formative years, preparing him for the mantle he was to assume. In the year 1014, destiny called upon him, and he ascended the throne, ready to etch his name in the annals of history. Rajendra Chola I did not just inherit an empire, he expanded it making it one of the largest in the world during his time. What if a ruler from South India not only dominated the Indian subcontinent, but also ventured beyond the Indian Ocean? This is the story of Rajendra Chola I, a king who turned his eyes to distant shores, achieving victories that would echo through history. Rajendra was a man with a vision. He saw the potential of his kingdom, not just within its borders, but beyond. His ambitions led him to the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, a stretch of land that straddles two seas. With characteristic determination, he conquered these islands, bringing them under the Chola rule. But Rajendra wasn't just about territorial conquests, he was a man of the sea. His fascination with the ocean led him to build a navy, a force so formidable that it was unmatched in its time. This Chola Navy wasn't just a military entity, it was a symbol of the king's far-reaching ambitions and his desire to make his mark on the world. His naval prowess didn't stop at the Indian Ocean. His eyes were set on the Maldives, a chain of islands in the heart of the sea. With his navy, he took the Maldives, adding another jewel to his crown. But the king's ambitions didn't end there. Rajendra looked further east, to the lands of Southeast Asia. He led expeditions to what is now Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia, extending his influence over these regions. His victories in these lands were significant, not just for the expansion of his kingdom, but also for the cultural exchange that they facilitated. Rajendra Chola was not just a king. He was a conqueror, a naval genius, who extended his reign far beyond his kingdom's borders. His rule was marked by a series of victories, each one a testament to his strategic brilliance and his determination to carve out a place for the Cholas in the annals of history. His reign was a reign of conquests, a reign that left an indelible mark on the face of the Indian subcontinent and beyond. Ever wondered about the secret behind the prosperity of the ancient Chola dynasty? It was during the reign of Rajendra Chola I that the dynasty reached its zenith, this period, often referred to as the Golden Age of the Cholas, saw an unprecedented boom in various fields of cultural growth. Rajendra Chola Vurst, a patron of arts, commissioned magnificent temples that were not just places of worship, but also the epicenters of social and economic activities. The grandeur of these architectural marvels still leaves us in awe today. His reign was also a renaissance period for literature. Scholars and poets were encouraged and rewarded, resulting in a rich collection of Tamil literature that continues to inspire us. Art, too, flourished under his rule. The Chola bronzes, known for their beauty and realism, were crafted during this period, making a significant contribution to Indian art. Under Rajendra Chola Wust, the Chola dynasty didn't just grow, it flourished, marking a golden age in its history. How does a ruler from the 11th century still impact the world today? As we delve into the legacy of Rajendra Chola Wast, we find answers that span across architecture, culture, and governance. Under his rule, architectural marvels were erected. These aren't just stone structures, they are living testaments to the grandeur of the Chola dynasty. Each intricate carving, each towering gopuram, narrates a story of a time when art and architecture flourished. His reign also marked a vibrant period of cultural evolution. The Chola influence seeped into every aspect of life, from literature and music to dance and religion. This cultural wave didn't stop at the shores of India, but spread to Southeast Asia, leaving a lasting impact. In terms of governance, Rajendra Chola the One's administrative model was ahead of its time, focusing on decentralization and efficient tax systems. 
Elements of these can be traced in modern governance models around the world. Rajendra Chola, I was not just a king, he was a visionary, a leader whose influence can still be seen today, centuries after his reign.